look what I found while out hiking today. It's the web of the Eastern Tent Caterpillar. You may have even seen these in your own backyard. Tent caterpillars are often found in black cherry trees, but sometimes crab apple trees as well, and even some of our fruit trees. The tent caterpillars are dark black and striped. They have a light colored stripe down their back. And if you look closely, they're even covered with little hairs. So why the web? Well, as the caterpillars feed on the leaves of the tree, they actually spin this silken mass and that provides protection if it's really hot or if there's rain, they kind of duck inside. The caterpillars come out at dusk or in the evening, even overnight sometimes to feed on the leaves. It's not exceedingly harmful to the tree, even if it completely defoliates the tree, because in the springtime, the trees have time to refoliate. And in fact, those hairy caterpillars are a great source of food for our native black-billed and yellow-billed cuckoos. These long-tailed birds are able to pick apart the web and snatch out those apparently tasty caterpillars. When the caterpillars have grown and their mass of webbing is even larger, eventually they venture out to find a place where it is sheltered and they can spin a cocoon. After a few weeks, they will emerge as a nondescript brown moth called the Eastern Tent Caterpillar Moth who in late summer will lay eggs on the crotch of another black cherry tree and the cycle begins again. The eggs actually overwinter and the caterpillars don't come out until spring. So if you find an eastern tent caterpillar web, just let it be because it provides great food for some of our native songbirds. Remember, you can find your own outdoor elements when you visit area parks and nature centers.